Okay, I had a request come through showing how to make wave text in Illustrator when you're just using a single line. I know I've got a tutorial on a different method where it's kind of a three or four line um, text, but when you're doing a single line of text that's a little bit longer, this is my favorite way to do it. You need to create the line that you want the text to follow. I just used my curvature tool here and just did a little quick boop to create my line. Obviously, I don't want that filled. I just want the line there. Um, and then you go over here to your text tool. When you hold down, it gives you the type on path tool. Then you click, and I'm just gonna hit paste because I already copied this text over. And there you have your text along the path. Um, you could pull over your characters or your property panel and align the text in different ways. If you use your white arrow and you hold your cursor over, it'll also let you move the text along the line to get the exact look that you want, or you can increase the size to fill it out. Um, down here is how you can do it using the envelope distort tool. It does not work very well when you have a long line of text, but if you have something shorter like this, this is a great way to do it. You go to object, envelope distort, make with warp, and then you choose the flag option from the drop down and crank that all the way up. This is the same exact settings, but with a longer um, line of text, it just doesn't quite give it very much of a curve. You can do some additional warping in that by hand if you use your white arrow and you grab some of these points by holding down shift and you can kind of, oop, I missed one there but you can, you can kind of manipulate it yourself, but it doesn't always go nice and smooth as if you were to just do it right on a line you drew out yourself. Then when you're all done, if you would like to change the colors or um, separate it out so you can cut with vinyl, you just right click on it and create outlines, and then you can either ungroup it or in Illustrator you could double click and it brings you into isolation mode. And then you can come in and grab what you want and change the colors accordingly so that you have whatever look you are going after to kind of change that up. But that is the easiest way to do it. I believe you could do it the same way in Affinity Designer and in Silhouette Studio, which I know I have done that in Silhouette, but I think Affinity has the same tool. Just type on path and you create the path. 